Welcome back to In Focus. Lake Chad is only a fraction of what it used to be. The lake is an important resource for several African countries, and people living around it say they are worried now that their livelihoods are in danger of disappearing too. VOA's Rebecca Ward has more on this crucial resource. It's easy to take fresh water for granted. It's just always there. But is it? Fresh water is a crucial element to life, yet the world has not always cared for it, perhaps as well as it should. Nothing may illustrate this more than Africa's Lake Chad. Tracy Farrell is with Conservation International. It's shrunk about 95% of its original extent. And this has happened due to a combination of factors, climate change, also due to irrigation practices and diversion of water for dams. And these tend to be some of the major impacts on water security. Farrell says Lake Chad is simply a microcosm of what's happening worldwide. It's a global problem. So we know that if you look at the, all the fresh water available on the planet, it's only about 3% of all water is fresh. Then if you look at what of that is available to us, it's a fraction of that percent. So in that fraction of percent, we have to deal with the near 9 billion people on the planet needing water and some 126,000 freshwater dependent species. So it's not surprising that you have this massive, massive crisis that's happening. And in Africa, in particular, because it's so arid, it's happening a lot faster. These pictures from a NASA satellite show Lake Chad as it was in the 1970s to now. Once one of Africa's largest lakes, Lake Chad is visibly smaller destroying the livelihoods of people who live around it. This village chief in Chad says they give each person one fish, but he says the problem is what happens when there are no fish. No fish means no food and no jobs. The Global Environment Facility, an independent financial organization, in partnership with the United Nations and World Bank, offers support to the Lake Chad region. Senior environmental specialist Jean-Marc Senasami says the key for communities around Lake Chad is adaptation. If there is no water, there is no fishermen. If there is less water, there will be less fishermen. But at the, on, on the opposite side, uh, if there is, there is less water, there will be more uh, mudflat areas and there will be more farmers. And these mudflat areas are very good for agriculture. You know, at some season there will be enough water uh, uh, and fishermen will be will be happy with that. Uh, depending on the season, uh, at all the moment, it will be more difficult for them. So they need to find other sources of income and other, find other ways of livelihoods. The problems faced by Lake Chad are being exacerbated by climate change, according to Conservation International's Tracy Farrell. But she says there are some good solutions. Climate change is essentially accelerating the problems we already have with water. So certain places that are dry are projected to be drier, which is the case for much of Africa. Certain places that are wet are projected to be wetter. So we're going to have some periodic flooding that's going to be worse. But the, the thing to keep in mind with climate change is that it drives these problems we have, and we already do have some good solutions. So there's all sorts of good schools of thought about do-no-harm practices. And that again comes back to taking care of the watersheds because this is your best buffering against climate change. If Lake Chad continues to shrink at the same rate, the United Nations says what was once one of the world's largest bodies of water could disappear in 20 years because of environmental pressures like climate change and population growth. Rebecca Ward, VOA News.